Hey there! A tool I'm really excited about is InstantDB. It's essentially a bit like Superbase uh, or Firebase, but it's really hooked in, pardon the pun, uh, with React uh, and the way you'd use that. Um, you can also use it in React Native uh, or vanilla JavaScript, and it's also part of the local first philosophy uh, in that it works offline and uh, makes real-time syncing really easily. So let's dive in and take a look. So this is their homepage and you can actually sign up for an account and give it a try yourself. So I've created this instant demo project following their documentation and you can see here that they have a line to initialize the database with your custom client identifier. And then it's just a matter of uh, writing uh, db.useQuery, uh, replacing your use state hooks with use query, uh, which is really nice. You know, you don't have to manage state in React yourself using one of the many state management libraries out there and uh, deal with all that side of things. Instant have uh, an SDK that just takes care of all of that for you. It's a really nice abstraction. So you can see here, we just get the to-dos from the use query hook. And then in the to-do list component, if we go down to to-do list, then you know we just have to map over them and render them. And if we now go and run this demo, here we go. We can add another to do and we can mark it done. We can delete it. And here are some to do's that I've already created. Ah, oh, and you can also um, update them in real time. So if we go into another tab, and then we put this one behind another to do. Boom, the other tab updates pretty instantaneously as well. So that's just listing the to do's uh, as far as the code. I mean, we've seen the full application functionality there. As far as the code to actually add them, delete them, toggle them. That's really simple as well. You can see we have this db.transact here, and then we just have to call an update function and or a delete uh, function, and the database handles the rest of it. So really nice and simple code. But libraries like, or I guess some um, services like Superbase uh, don't just provide the database side of things, they also provide, uh, you know, storage and auth and all the kinds of things that you need as part of a modern application. And luckily, Instant offers that too. Uh, storage is in beta, but if we go and check out the docs, they have a whole section on auth here. You can integrate Clark. You can play around with their beta storage and you know this is what the code looks like to upload files and they've got a whole bunch of nice patterns for defining schemas and managing the data models so all in all really exciting project and still early days but you can already try it out give it a whirl and I'm really excited to see where this goes.